Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with part two of this glass jewelry jar. This is a jewelry jar that had some uh, potential silver in it, and I'm just going to continue on pulling bits and pieces out and uh, see what else we can find. Um, looks good. So here's a stretchy bracelet. Plastic beads, plastic and wooden beads. I wonder if these ones glow in the dark. Sometimes they, they do. It's nice, lightweight. Here's, uh, I was going to say, here's some more stretchy bracelets. Um, but they are actually attached here like that. Let me just try to Oh, okay. So they're not you don't sort them out. So here's six stretchy bracelets with these uh dividers and they're crisscrossed like that to give it a little more interest, I guess. So when you put it on, it goes like that. I don't know. I like this side, the way it sits, but the other side kind of looks like a mess, a bit of a hot mess, as some people say. Eh, I guess to each their own. Plastic beads, um, nice range of pinks. Um, uh, don't know what I would do with that. Here's a bracelet. Oh, and it's magnetic. Whoops, I guess it needs to be magnetic because it's not stretchy. It's kind of uh, like, oh, how come I can't get the magnet together here? Let's see. There, okay. Well, that's kind of nice. It's a little scratchy. It's kind of like, I'm going to find these other ones. It's kind of the same as these from in this that was DK jewels so I'm wondering if that's another one of their products I'll know when I go searching online I guess I like that clasp though I'm wondering if somebody made the oh I guess not no that clasp is meant to go like that I you can get beads like this and I was wondering if somebody just sort of glued a, uh, a clasp but I can see from the way the center of the bead is that no that's meant to be the clasp so interesting we'll have to see if that uh, is part of those DK jewels here's another stretchy bracelet I love these kind of coppery beads good stretch here's this next nestle necklace it's got lobster claw clasp an extender the the Let's see. The clasp is kind of silvery. The chain is a kind of coppery looking. It looks well worn. Maybe it maybe it was well loved. And it is I guess a bib necklace or sort sort of a bib. Three rows of these lovely pinky purple. Is that more of a violet color? Almost heading toward magenta. Um so um I'd be afraid if I washed this. If you see the chain, how, especially over here, how well worn it is. The chain might just go rusty. So this might be worthwhile repurposing these dangles. I'm not sure. I'm going to put that in the repurpose pile. Here comes, oh, here's a little bracelet. Faux suede with the, uh, Infinity symbol, not marked, lobster claw clasp, it's a nice uh, turquoise color, so something to be cleaned, and this has a tag on it, so whose is this? Caracol, C-A-R-A-C-O-L. So I wonder if this is some kind of, um, 
you know, vacation jewelry line. So it's certainly feels like a piece of shell that's been coated. Yeah, you can see the coating certainly coming off. Coated and painted and wooden pl and plastic seed beads. So the, and there's the little, um, the other side of the tag that has sort of a almost a sun and a swirl so i'll have to do some research on that not sure that what, what i would do with that it might end up in the repurposing pile it's a loose bead or here's a timex leather 13 millimeter watch band looks brand new so save that for if i get a watch that needs a new band leather I don't mind I mean sometimes I know in the past I was always looking for leather watch bands when I wore that kind of watch so here's a beautiful pair of hoop earrings they were together in the jar look uh, in great condition that's the first pair of earrings Oh, and right after them came another little pair of earrings. I have a necklace that matches these. That uh, is Larimar. Not sure if these are Larimar. Um, nice little uh, interesting connection there. Oh, I see. They're kidney wires. So... Pretty little earrings. Second pair of earrings. Not bad. I've got a bunch of single earrings. Oh, a bolo! Oh! There's some singles. Alrighty. So, here's a bolo with a bit of plaid in it. It doesn't have enough colors to be tartan, but it's a horseshoe. Great condition. Don't see any marking. And the nice gold tone ends. I don't know uh, who would be interested in that, but I am getting a few, two or three. I've had two or three bolos lately. Got a nice frog one. Here's an old copper chain. Um, old because it's lost its. Or. I would say lost its color because some of it's darker than others. Some ring links are darker than others. Um, like that one there. Not maybe not. And it's got a it's got a ring on it as if it had a, a pendant or of something, but it's not there. Either that oh it's too short to be a, a two strand necklace. So there's some chain worth uh, hanging on to to repurpose. And here's up. An interesting hair barrette. Oh, it's a hair barrette. I was going to say it's interesting because it has a happy face hanging on it. But you know what? <laughs> it doesn't belong there. Single earring. So a nice uh, glittery heart hair barrette. Oh, we're doing quite well. I have a few single earrings. Maybe we'll be working our way up to some not singles. Well... Oh, so this is interesting. Look at this. This is what? Oh, it's a, okay. It's a, a gorgeous mirrored um, glass, slightly lopsided in its setting. Um, stone, uh, rhinestone on this very heavy. Oh, I see. It's cup chain welded to regular chain oh that's interesting no maker's mark that's uh very nice it's relatively heavy but it's in great condition just needs a wash and then what else have we got here oh here's a little bracelet um 
lobster claw clasp and this is a religious bracelet the um, a whole bunch of uh, what are called miraculous metals so um, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay I had to count them because looking at the design of this I thought this might be a rosary bracelet so for Catholics you um, we have when we say the rosary you say a group of 10 Hail Mary so there's 10 of these um, little medals devoted to Mary and then there's a spacer and a, this is just like the dangle off the end but this at the beginning and the end of each group of 10 you say other prayers so this would be in my estimation then a rosary bracelet so you could keep track of where you are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you're back to the beginning now fingers work just as well because you have ten but um, very nice I know some people who would really enjoy that oh and here's a little broken teeny tiny very fine chain look how fine that is uh, pretty gold tone too bad it's broken because there's always good things you can use these for not uh, marked I didn't expect it to be uh, any kind of precious metal I think this magnets had it um, but I keep you know thinking positively about it I'll have to get another one so here are the ends these are I've tried even with gold chains to repair these and you know I've seen where you know some of the challenging repairs that jewelers have made there's just such a fine fine link so oh, I don't know if we can't repair it we can always reuse it for something so that goes over in the repair pile now I'm wondering if I have any more oh here's one pair of earrings that have shown up oh those are kind of cool those sort of milky are those greenish or yellowish kind of it's hard to tell by the way so nice uh nice baguettes and a nice pair nice rhinestones that's different not marked but these are modern but that's very pretty that would be nice repurposed as well so that's three sets of earrings do i have any more sets yet oh here's another pair of earrings these are I think these are pl polymer plus a type of plastic they're no they um they're not quite wood but those would be interesting beads interesting to wear so another set of earrings I'm trying to see I don't think I have any more yet lots to pair up still so we'll see if they're in the jar okay there's some little individual ones Here's a stretchy bracelet. I was gonna say it looks like um, pop can tabs, but it's not it's not quite. So oh that's interesting. I don't know what kind of looks like that one looks like it used to be gold. That one was always silver. That one looks like it used to be gold. Silver, silver, gold. So maybe two or three that were gold tone and have faded over time. So this might be worth uh, taking apart and doing something with it. I don't see a name anywhere, though it is hard to get it all turned over. It's interesting. Oh, it would have been probably quite nice, well-loved in its day. I wonder why... Yeah, like why they weren't hinged through there. I guess that's the more vintage style would be hinged through there. So that can be, that'll have to be cleaned. Here's something with a tag on it. Necklace, our price, $10. These mm -hmm. are, hmm. Hard to tell. 
they're sort of cool. They, they're probably glass. I like this diamond at the end. I like the uh, little spacers. Quite nice, and it goes all the way up to a black spring ring. So no idea. I, I doubt this is vintage. You know, they still people still do make jewelry, or companies still do make jewelry with spring ring clasps. And the fact that it's black to match the stones. So I wonder who. Uh, our price ten dollars that's the kind of thing you find at winners and home sense and there's something that said twenty dollars so, very nice single earring single earring trying to hijack this necklace oh please return to Tiffany and Co New York you can tell that this is definitely fake because look at how poorly the T and I are stamped on there 925 look at how badly it's made on the back the chain might be worth uh, saving and reusing for something because certainly this is not the kind of chain that Tiffany would have um, used anyway but it's a nice sparkly chain um, what do you call that? Sort of a hollow metal chain. And this is just worth, if you need a weight for fishing, that's about all that's worth. I'm not trying to denigrate it. I just, it's not really worth anything. Whoa, okay. Here's a bunch of these things with these bits of uh, string on them. Interesting. Look at how bright yellow that is it's so pretty this must be again another dangle for something how's the what's going on here that this is not ah okay so this goes like that on a that goes like that well that's pretty it's heavy um, but definitely worth uh, trying to find a way to repurpose I like that what was that I just flung away? Oh, another earring. Stretchy bracelet, nice textured gold beads, very nice. Nice lightweight bracelet. Um, I think we saw this from the outside at that. Hopefully there's two of them. There's some more earrings. Um, what is exactly is this? Okay, so there's like some rhinestones and what are those? Just little flat somethings. I don't know if it's I'm trying to see if I can get it flat. There we go. Okay, this must be like a wrap bracelet. So you wrap it once and around. And again. Snap. Well, okay. It's hard to do. So, see if I'll have to see. I think it's pretty sure that's faux suede. So it should wash up before I can donate it. And. Oh, what have we got? That's those are some more earrings. Another earring. Oh, okay. So here's a little chain, and I think this is a bale. It lost whatever was supposed to be in there. Um, toggle chain, nice weight, certainly reusable. How long is it? I would say 18 inches. And what is my... Oh, I'm overestimating. So, 16. I'll have to... I'll put that in the repair pile. Here's an, an earring that came out in the first part of the jar. 
always think of these as um, peacock <laughs> tail because of the way the because of the shapes the cascading shapes but those are very pretty some little rhinestones in there two rhinestones per petal all the rhinestones are there oh, another nice pair of earrings and this little pin came out this is uh, sort of pressed brass pieces that have been assembled together um, I like angel pins I have a huge collection of them so I'll probably save that one for my collection and then here's some cats I think I saw maybe one of the cats from outside of the the jar unless there's more cat pins in there um, not marked oh, I'm surprised I would have thought you know that this was one of the pewter manufacturers or JJ but uh, cute little cats. I know Princess Casserole loves cats. Or maybe it's her husband who loves cats. Anyway, cute cat pin. And... Uh, oh, another watch. And a couple more earrings. Okay, so here's this watch. And all it says is quartz. Oh, I love these sort of silky flat bands that's great um you know a man or a woman could wear that i know somebody was looking for men's watches for father's day so i'll have to make sure i uh donate that one on so not bad what it was only two watches so far and then this is an interesting idea for a bracelet little gold tone chain nice little uh Double chain, light, very, very lightweight. Some macrame knots. And I guess it is adjustable. There we go. So there's something that could, that probably could wash up quite easily and be passed on. Okay, so we had a few more earrings coming out. I'll put them off to the side. Here's a nice little, very lightweight, um, Interesting kind of, those are, is that cup chain? Oh, it is cup chain. I was, I, it looked kind of like beads with rhinestones in them, but it's actually cup chain that's um, got stretchy cord in it to make a stretchy bracelet. Very nice. Lots of nice bling here. Look at this one. These feel like glass. They're very, anyway, they're cold like glass. It's a stretchy bracelet again. It's, uh, I trying to get it inside out to take a look at it not a lot of wear I mean it's you know it's lightweight probably aluminum but they're prong set so uh, those are very repurposable but also very wearable as it is nice uh, bracelet here's another stretchy bracelet this is heavy this is heavy those are heavy I don't know if they're painted but whatever they're made out of, they're heavy. Um, really nice. Look at how nice that is. Oh, I like that. Those would be really nice, not stretchy on a bracelet. So those would be very upcyclable. And I think we'll probably stop. A couple, maybe do this piece. And I found this. This came out in the first half of the jar, and it's good. That we found it because I found now the bracelet that it goes with. A bracelet or a necklace? I guess this is a necklace. Lobster claw clasp. And it says... What does that say? Oh, come on. There we go. C-O... Whoops. Core C O R W and C O R W core. Never heard of that before. C O R 